My name's Jean Godo. I'm from New York City and I'm a huge movie fan. I've lived in New York all my life and for a film buff like me, it must be the greatest place in the world. Walking through the city is like walking through one gigantic movie set. You can see famous movie locations wherever you go. This is Cortland Alley in Chinatown. It might not look iconic, but it's probably the most famous alley in the world. The Hollywood version of New York is full of dark, secret alleyways like this. You know the type. Rusty fire escapes. Graffiti on the walls. And trash on the ground. But in the real New York, there are hardly any alleyways at all. So this one little alley has appeared in many blockbuster films, like Crocodile Dundee, TV dramas like Boardwalk Empire, and of course, New York cop shows like NYPD Blue and Law and & Order. Unlike in the movies, the real Cortland Alley is perfectly safe. The most dangerous activity here is construction work. This is Flushing Meadows Corona Park in the borough of Queens. I used to live near here and it's still my favorite park in New York. And it's also the setting of one of my all time favorite movie scenes, the climax from the first Men in Black. In the film, Agent J, Will Smith, and Agent K, Tommy Lee Jones, shoot down a huge UFO just over Flushing Meadows. It crashes straight into this, the Unisphere, which was built as the centerpiece of the 1964 World's Fair. The park became the ultimate symbol of the space age. And the creators of Men in Black were able to use the Unisphere to create the perfect sci-fi setting. Flushing Meadows might have the space age factor, but Manhattan is still the most recognizable area in New York. And nowhere is as iconic as the Empire State Building. When it first opened in 1931, the Empire State Building was already world famous. It was the tallest structure in the world and symbolized the modern age. In 1933, it became an international icon when it starred in the movie King Kong. The film was an instant classic. The image of a giant ape clinging to the top of the building is still one of the most famous in cinematic history. In fact, this one building is almost as iconic as the city itself. Almost, but not quite. New York has appeared in thousands of films. People who have never been here feel like they know the place. You should come and see the city for yourself. It really is just like the movies. <laughs>